Whoa, I have all these? Okay. Whoa, I have all these. Basil? Oh, Burly's Lost Ball is what we wanted to do. Van threw Burly's Lost Ball somewhere deep in the vast forest. It couldn't have fallen too far. Okay. Let's do it. <gasps> There's a cave and a ball! Sweet! There's my lost ball! Yoink! Finally! Let's get take this bad boy to the playground. I'm itching to play some tetherball. Yay! What's here? A hard bulb. You can hear something struggling inside. <gasps> can I do anything with this? I don't think I can. Can I stab it? Nope. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'll be back probably. Man, I just passed by that the path to that cave a million times probably. Thanks for your help, you guys. Well, that was fun. Not! I'm gonna go play some tetherball. See you later, alligators. I'm out of here. But seriously, come see me before you go. I got something special for you. Oh? Is it toast? Is it toast? Hey, dudes! Thanks for getting my lost ball back. As you can see, I'm putting it to good use. Yup, she sure is. I was thinking, since you were all so kind to help me out, I'm gonna be generous, teach you my special skill. But first, I got a question for y'all. Which one of you has the hardest head? Well, duh. It have to be Aubrey. What did you say? Whoa, chill out. No hard feelings. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> huh. That sounds about right. All right, Aubrey. I'm gonna teach you a skill. Just between hard-headed folks like us. It's my specialty. Headbutt. It's simple, really. You just run up to someone and... Now you try. That looks like it would hurt. And also mess up my hair. And also ruin my bow. Oh, come on, Aubrey. Live a little. Having messy hair never hurt anyone. Hero is living proof of that. Yeah, you bet. <laughs> Fine. But if I'm doing this... I'm gonna give it all I got. <laughs> oh. I feel dizzy. Whoa! Nice one, Aubrey. I knew I saw talent in you. Congratulations! You've passed the test with flying colors. From this day forth, I hereby declare you a bona fide headbutter. Aubrey learned headbutt. And take this certificate. Show your friends. I'm sure they'll be proud. You got a butt certificate. <laughs> Yay. I'm a certified butt. All right. So, she has pep talk, which I completely forgot about. She can make a friend or foe happy. Now she has headbutt along with guard. Seems good to me. <coughs> Are there any more 
stuff we can do, or should we just go find Basil? Let's see. Daisy's Dilemma. She's trying to get her... Oh, a flower puzzle. I think I saw McCall throw one away. Rabbit killer. You agreed to slay bunnies for Leafy. Aubrey will be upset, you know. Oh, um, she doesn't need to know. She does not need to know. Okay, so for the leaf puzzle, I don't think McCall is going to give us any info. So I'm kind of curious about if we've slayed enough bunnies to get something new. Let's check out the train station real quick. If I can remember how to get to it. I guess we might as well fight a bunny along the way. Let's get this um, stupid sprout mole first. Oh yeah, we should try our new ability, huh? Ow! Grinding. Uh, always deals a critical hit. Yeah. Oh yeah. Let's use that. Headbutt. Annoy. Hard rebound. Deals damage to all foes. I should be using these more, huh? And then you have heal. Remove emotion. Guard. We could remove his anger. He might die first though. Yeah, he did. Ha! <laughs> oh, headbutt! That was awesome. What the hell is this? Oh, that's the massage? <laughs> hey, Implied Kappa, welcome back. <clears throat> the bunny thing might be done. Oh, I didn't realize it was something you could finish. I thought it was just like... You just keep going and getting more prizes. Now, who was the... Oh, you're the bunny hater. We've killed 23 bunnies. Oh, right. You have to kill two more bunnies for your next prize. Now get out of there and destroy those bunnies! Alright, let's do two more bunnies. Is a lot of damage. Ah. I can see that you have killed 26 bunnies! Splendid! 
splendid! I see you've destroyed more bunnies! There's 26 bunnies obliterated! Thank you so much, fellow bunny hater! You got bunny ears! Now go on and destroy more bunnies! By disguising myself as a bunny? Seems kind of messed up. Bunny ears helps you hear better. Defense and speed up. to look for basil next was it over here where we have to climb up a ladder or something remember what mari said amori you're stronger than you think don't worry we'll be right behind you yeah and if you fall we'll be right here to catch you hell don't scare him you won't fall, Amori. I promise. Hey! No more scared. You are no longer afraid of heights. I know there's a reason why we've never climbed this ladder, but I can't put my finger on it. It's on the tip of my tongue. Oh well. <coughs> Here goes nothing. I wouldn't climb this ladder either. I don't think you need to have a fear of heights to not want to climb this ladder. We're going into, like, out of the atmosphere. Wait, hold up, guys. Shoot, where is he? I just had him. Where's who? Hector, my pet rock. Oh, I replaced it with the bunny ears. <laughs> I swear, I just had him in my pocket. No! have fallen out of my pocket when I wasn't paying attention. I'm sorry, Hector. I should have been more careful. <coughs> and what's the big deal? It's just a rock, right? Don't you dare say that! He's not just a rock. He's family! Don't worry. I'm sure he'll turn up soon, Kel. Probably. I sure hope so. Wait for me, Hector. I'll find you. I promise. Guys, my arms are getting tired and I'm about to fall off this ladder. Can we proceed? What? What the, what's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? A sperm? Is that a snake? With a... Is that a snake with the, the cone of shame on it? What am I... No. No. He's an astronaut. Astronaut snake. What the hell? <laughs> Snakes. We're like underground now. We went so high that we are now super deep in the ground. the moon <sighs> the last 
matter. It just... never ends. <laughs> That's one step, small step for Kel, and one large step for Kel kind. That's not how it goes. You don't get to decide how it goes. You weren't here first. Wait, hold on. Is that my butt certificate? <laughs> Take that thing down right now. What if somebody sees it? No way. Look at this thing fluttering in the wind. So majestic. So beautiful. Hero, do something! One... One sec. Just... I'm catching my breath. Actually... Give me a minute. Never mind. Aubrey's butt certificate. So majestic, so beautiful. I wonder... <coughs> so I guess if you don't have the butt certificate, you wouldn't get that. Hello, Boyd. Cheap. Otherworld campsite. Cheap, cheap. Cattle... Cattail field. Oh, let's go to a campsite. That sounds nice. Other world. We on the moon. Oh, look at the dragon. For a hundred clams? That's expensive. Extortion. I'll take it. Sodi pop. I got a sodi pop. Cherry soda, tasty soda. Heals 50% of juice for the thirsty people. mirror do again? Aww. Okay. Horse water. Uh, you're a vendor, right? I can also sell things. S'mores! Heals 50 heart. Cherry soda. 25% banana smoothie. I have one of those. <coughs> Deals damage to a foe and reduces their defense. Inflicts happy on a friend or a foe. Infused with the spirit of... Oh, the life jam. Yeah, I used mine. That's, maybe I should save up for another one. You don't appreciate window shoppers? <laughs> I'm broke. You don't like broke people? Ah, oh, yes, some lovely, lovely space tube food. Would you like to eat some? Yes, I would love some. You and your friends feel like new. Let's have a picnic. Yeah, I do want to have a picnic with my friends. When I grow up, I'm going to be a space pirate. And I'm going to travel all around the universe. Our search 
for Basil has taken us, all of us, pretty far from home. If traveling the universe is what you want, you definitely have a head start. I wonder what kind of friends we'll meet, what foes we'll face. It'll be an epic journey to end all journeys. You're way too carefree about this, Kel. Did you forget that we're looking for Basil? Remember? Our dear friend Basil who needs us? Yeah, I know, I know. I'm just trying to be positive. I have complete faith that we will save him. Besides, the heroes always win. Isn't that right, hero? Haha, uh -huh. very funny, Kel. I think Kel seems like a pretty swell. Dude, read the description for cherry soda again. Let's see, I like cherry soda. Feels 25% of juice, 50% of juice. Carbonated hell sludge. Oh, carbonated hell sludge. Uh huh. For seniors, wait, that's prune juice. Banana smoothie, a little bland, but it does the job. I don't think I've ever had a straight banana smoothie, and it does sound like it'd be pretty bland, honestly. To be honest. It's chocolate and banana. Peanut butter and banana. Strawberry and banana, but just straight banana? Hmm. Alright, let's take our first breaky break. Alright, let's explore this place. Let's see, whoa. Hello. Who's that lurking behind the tree? This guy looks pretty intimidating. Do you want to disturb him? Yes. Bah! Oh, shit. Okay, let's let's make Amori sad and let's make Oh my god. This music is, is it too loud? Compared to my voice or is it fine? I wish I had a slider that could turn the volume down. Okay. What skill do you have? Oh no, wait! She needs to be angry. Shit. Can we start over? Oh wait, I can go back. I can have her just attack for now. Oh. Is this a super boss? I think we'll be 
be okay. Oh god, we're toast! Why is it always Kel? I don't have any more revives. can do it, team. Wahahaha! <laughs> what a splendid show of fours! Attack and defense rose. Oh, get him. have no effect. It was a dull attack. Oh. Oh no, I can't use it. I can't use bread slice. Gain bread. Ah, uh, that was my chance. Learned counter. Hmm, not bad. Bye bye. Help me, Mari. I'm dying. <laughs> We're toast again. Dang, we toast. Toasted. Hey, Honka, thank you for the 61 months resub. How, how are you doing today? How was your weekend? Hey, Dizzy, what's up? What's up, Uriah? And, uh, Kometar Vid, you love air conditioning? Me too! Did yours break too, like mine? Let's talk to this very fashionable looking bird. Gas gone. Oh crap, I forgot my camera at home. What a good camping trip if I can't... What's, what's a good camping trip if I can't take any pictures? Sorry. Bunnies! I must destroy you. Mrs. Ducky? There are bunnies, right? <laughs> Junior just doesn't know how to stay put. All he wants to do is go outside. 
bookcase filled with DVDs. This family records everything. Yeah, we were kind of like that too, except not with DVDs though. With the VHS, have you guys heard of that? <laughs> Happy family. An extra wide bed. <laughs> Perfect for a family of three. Sorry to bother you, but have you seen my son anywhere? We always... We looked away for less than a second and he's gone and ran off again. Could you keep an eye out for me? You'll know when you see him. He looks just like me. Huh? Okay. I will keep an eye out for the little ducky. Little ducky junior. <clears throat> Idiest, bittiest centaur. First place. Littlest centaur. First place. Littlest centaur. First place. Smallest centaur. First place. A bookcase is a little dusty. Ah. 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 Achoo! Oh, the dust buddy. Oh, no. What are we gonna do? Oh, we're gonna destroy it. Miniest centaur, first place. Littlest centaur, first place. Most horse, second place. <laughs> a bed, it smells like a farm. Small. I'm small, the world's smallest centaur. Look at all of my awards. I, I love them, yes. Even has medals on the wall and everything. I wish I was a tiny, tiny centaur. This place used to be a pristine wildlife preserve, but due to a recent boom in tourism, it's starting to accumulate a lot of trash. Pick up your trash, people! It's not that hard! Right? wrong with people I can be a tiny centaur one day if I just believe in myself yay a table full of merchandise of an obnoxious looking person music a bookcase full of books about an obnoxious looking person a statue made in the likeness of an obnoxious looking person a surprisingly normal bed a painting of an obnoxiously looking person a very obnoxious sounding song is playing from this boombox like quite hectic but I really dig it hello Pessy hi I'm Pessy and as you probably noticed I love sweetheart I got every piece of merchandise she's ever released I got sweetheart posters figures stickers shirts her entire discography and anything else you can think of I am certain you won't find a more thorough collection anywhere else in the world. Calling me a super fan is an understatement. I am the ultimate fan. Let me tell you about the time I almost met Sweetheart. We just happened to be eating at the same restaurant. It was fate, I think. We ordered the same meal, too. Not like I totally saw what she ordered and copied her or anything. I even tried to pay for her meal, but I had just bought a newly released Sweetheart life-size statue the day earlier and I couldn't afford to. Which I guess ended up being a good thing since that girl turned out to be some regular girl wearing a costume that kind of looked like Sweetheart's anyway. Not that I couldn't tell in the first place. Only a poser fan would ever mistake a regular person for Sweetheart. Okay, let's leave immediately. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> I got can. Can? Is 
it a snack? No? Is it a toy? Can I kick the can? Give to a recycle machine for five clans. <gasps> I can pick up trash and get money. Hell yeah. What shit? Oh, look, here we go. A can. Yes. Recycle, please. Thanks for doing your part in keeping the environment clean. Thank you. Recycling machine just gave me a cool prize for recycling some cans. Recycling does pay off. I see another can, I think, up there on the top of that. How do I get to it, though? Not from here. What's this? What's this? Laramie. A band of space pirates has been camping out for a long time now. I hear that the captain suddenly decided he wasn't going to travel anymore, so half of the crew took his ship and left. It's Kina's distant cousin. Space pirate guy. What is that coming out of his mouth? Oh, he has a beak. Oh, looks like, I don't know, a very strangely colored tongue or something. Like, what is, is he sick? Halt, children. You are now entering the vicinity of the captain of the space pirates, the master of the solar system, the prince of the universe. The one and only Captain Space B I mean, uh, you're entering the house of Space Boyfriend. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Whoa, the captain of the Space Pirates lives here? That's awesome. I want to be a Space Pirate too. Yeah, well, so did I once. Space boyfriend doesn't do much these days, so most of the pirates, uh, space pirates, got fed up and left with the main ship. It's just a stragglers here to win all space boyfriend's chores or whatever. Yesterday, me and the guy spent the day cleaning and throwing away all of his trash. <sighs> I didn't leave my old job for that. I ain't no babysitter. Aw, oh, I'm sorry. That sounds awful. Maybe we can talk some sense into him. Oh, I wouldn't do that if I were you. Captain Space Bo I mean, a space boyfriend's got two sides to him, you see. We should at least try. You never know. He might know something about how to find Basil. Or maybe he knows where to find my pet rock, Hector. Yeah, sure. That too. What are we waiting for? Let's go see him already. Sorry about your job, sir. It'll get better, I promise. Uh, thank you, little lady. I sure hope so. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. Trouble. The view here is spectacular. What? Things have been so boring around here ever since Captain Space... Bo I mean, Space Boyfriend took charge of the Space Pirates. I mean, look at what Space Boyfriend's done with the old Captain's ship. Captain Pinkbeard would never approve of this. Space pirate buddy. Buddy, it sucks that you had to come at a time like this. Captain Space Bo I mean, Space Boyfriend hasn't left his bed since she stopped coming around. What are they, like, stopping themselves from calling him? Space Butt? We have a butt certificate. 
are a little tough now. But I don't care what anyone says, pal. I believe in the captain. <coughs> Space boyfriend. What can we do for you, bro? Why won't you leave your bed? Oh yeah, and in Xenogears you could you could uh <laughs> you could be introduced to the best character in all of characters. My bro. <laughs> bro. <laughs> All I hear lately are the rest of the crew complaining about being bored, bro. Am I the only one who kind of enjoys cleaning around here? Right, let's see the space butt. Good old hammer. Bookcase full of knowledge from all across the universe. A telescope. A boombox. There's no cassette tape inside. Can we play this? Oh. A vanity. Me too, yeah, me too, bro. <coughs> uh oh. Captain Space. I mean, Space Boyfriend doesn't look so good. But don't worry, I'll handle this. Hey, Space Boyfriend! Wake up! Kel! What? <laughs> My precious sweetheart. Ah, he sounds so sad. There must be some way to help him. <laughs> My sweetheart, where have you run off to now? Oh no, not again. Space boyfriend's feeling the heavy blues. Here, my guy. This will cheer you right up. Huh? Why isn't anything playing? Oh no! The boombox! It's empty! He's never gonna wake up now! Or even worse, he's gonna wake up angry. Oh man! Oh man! Where could this that special mixtape be? Someone must have thrown away his special mixtape when we were cleaning! What's the big deal? It's just a cassette, right? Yeah, a cassette that's called the special mixtape. Well, you see, whenever Space Boyfriend is away from Sweetheart, he gets really sad and lies in bed all day. But the only way to snap him out of it is by playing a special mixtape. There's only one in the universe like it. Oh, I see. Space Boyfriend isn't sick. He's lovesick. Oh, if Space Boyfriend stays like this, the once great coalition of space pirates will be lost for eternity. Oh, man. That sucks. Well, let's go. Wait! Where are you going? We should help him out. You should know that it really sucks to lose something important to you. Don't you dare bring Hector into this! I'm talking about when you stole my stuffed toy! Huh? I don't remember anything like that. <laughs> oh, sweetheart. My 
perfect goddess. <laughs> My sweet jelly filled donut. I think he's getting worse. What should we do, Amori? Should we help him? <laughs> but thanks, my guys. I really appreciate it. Here, take this. You got junkyard key. This key unlocks the junkyard. The special mixtape should be somewhere in there. Wow, fancy. You can get there through this secret entrance to Space Boyfriend's backyard. Pretty convenient, eh? Indeed. It is quite convenient. <laughs> oh god, is it that stupid moon thing again? We've really done it down now, dude. I hope the captain won't be too mad when we tell him his favorite planet is missing. Oh. You know how he gets when he's angry. Buddy, you're not supposed to call him captain anymore. You have to... <coughs> you have to call him space boyfriend, remember? Oh yeah, that's right. wonder if we're even space pirates anymore. Ever since that sweetheart came along, we haven't done anything cool. We should just quit and get real jobs. Don't talk nonsense, buddy. What is life for? Us, if not the space pirate life. I'm sure the captain will come to his senses one day and we'll all fly again. We just have to believe in him. Uh, thanks, dude. You're always there when I need you. Aw, bromance. Yeah, his favorite planet was a jerk. Ooh. Okay. Hydrations. We got this. Oh, that's an enemy or what? What is this? Wormhole. Change my name to Space Bunny. I got a star fruit soda. Let's see what it is. To be shared with a friend heals 35% of juice. I got a backpack?
can I eat it? <laughs> no? <coughs> can I... Can I... Oh, it's probably an equipment, huh? Is it a charm? Convenient storage device. Defense plus two. for hero who are you my good man i am looking for some art fear not for i will know when i have found it hmm. uh which way let's go up here first 